was going to say, you're subscribed to us. Yeah, I should be. And I know Haley is. I know I am, that is, James is. Check. Uh, there we go. Yeah, just so everybody knows, we got lost in Brighton. Uh, polite <laughs> town, damn it. Burps are not fun. Maybe. But yeah, we got lost down here. Because Blight town is confusing as hell and has frame rate issues. Which I think we pointed out earlier in Blight town. <laughs> like there was a pause earlier on. And then you have these things, the fire mosquitoes. Whoops. Okay. Did you find what you were looking for? I'm trying. <laughs> In the middle of an episode? <laughs> yep. <laughs> because, I mean, more fire mosquitoes. Because it sells us. Mm -hmm. But. I don't think it just lets me see it on, on the phone. You just unsubscribed. Oh. <laughs> I can fix that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. And I turn notifications on for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, bloop, 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 chest. I, I should know how to find them, right? <laughs> Okay, let's take you home. Let's hit your search button. <laughs> let's just... Search... No, 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 no. I hate... Hmm. Oh, you posed. I don't know why we were standing in front of that chest for so long. Yeah, no idea. But that happens quite a lot to us for some reason. We just stand still. Well, actually, I can explain it sometimes. I talk with my hands a lot. Right. <laughs> and when I have a controller in my hands, to talk with them means I have to let go of the controller and we don't do anything. Is that her, like, channel video? Or just click on any of her actual videos. That's what I tried to do. Yeah, we died again. And I got pissed. Because <laughs> we died again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's her uh, Okay, Like, I see that and I expect high quality content. And it's one of those things where it's like, I want us to have an opening reminiscent of the same idea. Did you ever see mine? The one that I made for my channel? The Millennium Shark God one? Yeah. Yeah, didn't we put that on the front of our own video? Did we? Not on this one. No, the one that we made back at CNCC. Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah, that and the War Cabin the production. Got the, yeah, it's yeah. got my shark thing in out. I think Ooh. we're at another episode break. It's a break. Oh, we're back. Hey. Maybe. Yeah, we're back. Now, the outro screen, literally, I throw the channel banner into the back. Mm -hmm. I create a new title using uh, whatever uh, font goes with the video that they just watched. Yeah. At least now I do that. And then I add in the videos. Ready? Which really the longest part in that process is getting the videos themselves, cutting them down to the allotted time, making sure that the moment I wanted from each video plays audio-wise. Yep. Which means since the previous video plays before the recommended, I make sure that I, choose, that I cut the previous video's piece before. Uh, closer to the beginning mm -hmm. and for the recommended I make sure that the part I want is closer to the end of its clip because okay. I don't want the outro to be more than like 15 seconds long at most partially because our intros are already kind of long for what they are <laughs> Right. I think our longest one is the Dark Souls intro at like 23 seconds let's see oh I see what mm -hmm. uh, the outro yeah yeah which one is that for? What Dark Souls? No, I meant which video does that belong to. That's oh. why there's no previous on that one, is because it's the first episode of a brand new series, yeah. so there was nothing previous. Yep. 
But I think that's one of my favorite moments from you in Dark Souls, the just every time you do this, I feel like there needs to be tango music in the background. <laughs> and then there was tango music in the background. Yep. <laughs> Drinking for new area. <laughs> new area. Drinking for new area. Here soon, in a second, I hope wait, I do. Wait. Um, or did I take the drink before we walked up here? Nope, here nope, it is. Right yep. <laughs> Oh man. We shouldn't be too far from the Quaylog fight. Hope not. Quaylog. We didn't. Okay, I was gonna say, we didn't like do another episode break that soon. <laughs> Were we that drunk that time just distorted oh, it just itself? Went all, all whack on us. <laughs> just, I mean, yeah, it feels long like, enough, right? Yeah. Well, like, me and Cody are terrible about doing intros and outros episodes, like saying hi, which, honestly, we've gotten away from saying hi and saying who we are in almost every series, except yeah. for the Third Age one, me and Robert. Because me and Robert actually timed those out, we put a stopwatch out and timed it to 15 minutes and mm. stuck to it as close as we could. Okay. We got, we actually remember to do our intros and outros and everything properly. But in almost every other uh, series, we've kind of gotten away from doing it. Yeah. I know in the GTA series, we don't do it. I don't think me and Thad have done a intro where we say who we are in any of the Zombie Sunday episodes. Right. And a lot of it boils down to one of those things... To me, we've got 45, 46 videos up now. Mm -hmm. I feel like after watching four to five of them, you can figure out which one of us is which. Yeah. Especially because a lot of the people in Grab Bag, we all sound very different from one another. And we don't. Oh. That was the one that pissed me off because we just lost all of that humanity. Yep. <laughs> But uh, and we didn't recover, so it was an even it was a double penalty on the drinking side as well. Oh yeah, yeah. But um, uh, yeah, in grab bag, you know, we all do sound pretty different. There's very few of us that you can like confuse our voices. Mm -hmm. I think me, Thad, and Cody are the only ones that you can even kind of sometimes. Whereas like uh, our friends over at Rough Night. It took me about ten episodes to be able to tell the difference between Travis and Marcus. Okay. Because they sound pretty similar. Gotcha. And even and they do like they actually do their intro where they say who they are each time. And even with that, I still had trouble for mm -hmm. a while differentiating them after the intro. Where I'd hear it and I'll be like, Okay, who was Yeah, like, who's, who's that? <laughs> who just said that? I I'm sorry, Sonny, I can't hear you too good without my aid. Who are you? <laughs> So, I mean, I will say, the only thing that saddens me about this is the police not being out yet. I don't get to do my Asian lady bits. Oh, yeah. That's uh, a weird phrase, Asian lady bits. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any Asian lady bits for sale? <laughs> uh, let me check the stock real quick. <laughs> nope, no Asian lady bits. <laughs> no, no. We do have uh, the exotic, you know, Indian. <laughs> Spicy. But... Do you have Asian... <laughs> Man bits? <laughs> yes, but it's going to cost you. <laughs> Those are costly. Uh, drink for new area. <laughs> drink, drink for new, new area. area. <laughs> nice. Notice we barely ever use our pyromancy despite how powerful it is. Yeah, it's like, it's like... We just forget that it exists. And a lot of it is, I will say, I can explain it for Blight Town at least. The boss in Blight Town is strong to fire. Ah, uh, alright. So yeah. there's no reason, so like, most of Blight Town is strong to fire. Yep. Because in standard RPG formula, whatever the boss is strong to, most of the enemies in that area are going to be strong to as well. Mm -hmm. And I think I was drunk enough at this point that I was antagonizing these guys by walking up and getting them into that mode, but then knowing even that they couldn't hear me, I was still going, Hey, fucker! <laughs> Like, it's weird. This is the easier entrance into Blight Town. And it's odd to me to think that this is the easier entrance into Blight Town. Yep. Yeah. Still in combat. Still in combat. Yep. <laughs> They're charging. This counts. <laughs> But I would like to point out, by this point, 
Uh, oh my god, what? We're at like 40, 50 shots in? Um, I think so, probably. Because each of our drinks, and when I say shots, I mean we took a drink. Yeah, yeah. Not like we had shots laid out, because if we were just doing actual no, shots there was all actual night, shots we'd, we'd be, be screwed. Dead. Yeah, it would have been yeah, alcohol. Alcohol poisoning. <laughs> but uh, we were at 45 to 50 drinks by this point because of the 30 that we started with. Yep. Like, we hit it hard from the get-go. So, I was at least buzzed, if not a little drunk. Gerardo was a little buzzed. Yep, I was a little buzzed at this point. And I want to say, my skill for being buzzed a little drunk is amazing to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Like, the fact that I had the timing to dodge some of these attacks mm -hmm. is amazing to me. Because the whole thing is, it's supposed to be like when you're drunk or buzzed... Your reflexes are off and yeah. your timing's off. But I was just like, got it. I'm good. <laughs> Let's go. And somehow I didn't actually go into my normal drunk slur that I do. Because when I'm drunk, you know, a lot of people have their slurs when they're drunk where it's, oh, you can't backstab yeah, these guys. In the butt. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I didn't <laughs> think you could backstab them. But, you know, most people, their slur is more they elongate their words mm -hmm. and they yeah. don't really enunciate. I make everything plural. That's why back at CNCC, Modern Warfare 3 got called the Discs of Threes. Because uh, I was drunk one night, and yep. I wanted to go play it. And I just went to Jeremy's room, and I knocked on the door, and he opens it. He goes, are you drunk? I'm like, yes! But that's not the point. <laughs> Do you have the Disc of Threes? And he kind of looks at me, and at that point, Cody or Thad, one of them is behind me, and they go, he means Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> <laughs> That's his eager face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what it? Hey, every single kid who watched SpongeBob when it first came out knows the song "Sweet Victory." Oh, it's a sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. Hell, my dad still knows the campfire song. Song. Really? Yeah. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E S O N G song, and if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. But it'll help if you figure out what we're doing. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Cutting up mosquitoes and going into Blight Town. Cutting oh, up God. mosquitoes and going into <laughs> Blight Town. <laughs> no. Thad still hates that. <laughs> oh, sure. And it doesn't stop me. There's an entire section missing from today's Zombies Sunday episode, yep. where before the sync-ups happen, you just hear me going, On top of Old Smokey, all covered in cheese, I mixed up these two songs, that's gonna be pissed with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I even cut out his side, which is just, stop it, stop, okay, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Die. There's a lot of times that we just stop moving and I don't know why. Yeah, it's like, why did we stop? <laughs> it's because we got off on a tangent. I was going to say, <laughs> well, it's one of those things, we didn't get to blackout drunk because we stopped before either of us would ever hit throwing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Way on before. purpose. But I'm sitting here trying to like figure out why did we just stand still for a little bit. And at this point, I think it was because I was trying to figure out if I was on the right path or not. Yeah. Because pathing in Blight Town is hell sober. <sighs> Trying to figure out drunk is a whole new yeah, level of hell. Thing. You know, I told you I once ran a D&D campaign where I put them through the nine uh, circles of hell. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I loved it. <laughs> Didn't we die right here, too? We died in a lot of spots, and I stopped oh, counting. <laughs> no, see, we made it. The problem is getting off sometimes. Uh. Because if you miss this jump, then you take a lot of damage and you're in a poison swamp. Yeah. And it's why, for so long in this, I had emphasized we have to have the fast rolls. Though I will say, one good thing to learn about Blighttown is fire marks ladders. Ah. This is good to know. <laughs> and then, of course, as soon as I say that... Tons of fire! <laughs> Enemies! 
fire mosquitoes. Die. They suck to fight, and they're not worth a lot of souls either. Those are the worst ones, the ones that are just like, like a kind of a pain in the ass to deal with and to kill, and especially if they swarm you. Oh, dude. But there's like no... Dude. <laughs> just wait till Dark Souls 2. Oh. Okay, if sure. Dark Souls 1's focus was humanity, Dark Souls 2's focus was curse. Mm-hmm. And most of the fights in Dark Souls 2 are literally, you're sworn by enemies. Mm-hmm. So the whole game teaches you how to manage large groups of enemies properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the boss fights, though, is the Belfry Gargoyles, which are the exact same gargoyles as in this game, but six of them. Oh, God. No. They are not an easy fight by any means. Are they Goretoli Gretels? Are they Goretoli Gretels? What's up? You okay, girl? Yeah, maybe we were following here or later. Uh, we don't have any humanity, so we couldn't reverse Harlowing, but we were taking eight drinks for those Estes flasks. Mm. Yep. Eight the drinks. Just need to hold on, girl. I know what's gonna be coming soon. <laughs> yeah, see, now I'm doing what we need to for all that. And eight more drinks. <laughs> Yeah, this is another moment where I was <laughs> yeah. like, Gerardo, you're about to hate me, but, uh... It's happening. It. <laughs> <laughs> and we had ruled earlier on that it was one of these things of, yes, you do double drinks when human, but because we sat down and we weren't human when we sat down, it doesn't yeah, count. It doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Because if it did, well, fuck us. 